All right, guys, today is the day we're possibly gonna be purchasing a Toyota Supra. So this thing has a B58 engine, 2021, with only 5,000 miles, um, but with some hidden damage that we have no idea about. It has a mechanical damage, and that thing is scaring the living baloney out of me because everyone on YouTube said mechanical damage means engine damage. That being said, I did a little bit of research online and I found out that the cheapest engine for this car is gonna be $13,000, so I decided that's a great idea. Let's go ahead and bid on this car. But before we do that, because we have to wait 130 minutes, let's head down and pick up our new cluster that we got repaired for our Nissan Titan because we're gonna need something to tow this beast back home. And the reason I'm saying this with confidence is because I'm gonna bid to win. Now, is this the smartest tactic? Probably not, but is it entertaining? Yes. home let's get this cluster installed because if we end up winning this supra again we need to make sure we get there it's all the way in san jose about a two hour 30 minute drive one way that's a five hour drive in total not to mention the weight and everything um i honestly considered about hiring somebody but we got to do it ourselves just because we got a truck and uh i think it'll be just way more funner towing our own car back home plus i'm not gonna lie guys the anticipation waiting for a tow truck to show up to your house when you got a brand new car is so stressful like i'm so excited and i can't wait like i literally want to sit right in front of the like the driveway until they get here. Anyways, let's get inside the truck and install the new cluster. Hopefully everything's working and hopefully it was a fuel gauge, not some other random issue that's causing the fuel gauge not to work. Still looks like another 91 minutes before a play. Anyways, let's just go ahead and get this truck together. Guys, I've ordered two clusters from eBay. Both of them were bad, so my heart is literally pounding. I took this one locally to get it fixed. It costs even more locally, but I mean, how can you mess up if it's local? You know, I took it straight to him. I told him exactly what I want. I wanted him to fix this thing so the light actually works on that, um, which actually shows the miles and everything. And the fuel gauge right now, as soon as I plugged it in, I actually went below E again, which I'm kind of upset about. I'm hoping once I turn over the car, it moves up because normally it just stays right under E and it never moves. So moment of truth, guys, putting the key in the ignition, Please, please, gas gauge. Come on, please move. Oh, yes. Yes, dude. And the miles are showing. Oh, this looks so good. Finally, guys. Woo. Barely started. This thing's been sitting for a while. Guys, my palms are sweating so much. This is the car, guys. So it only has damage pretty much on the passenger side. Nothing too crazy. Let me go ahead and show you guys the damage real quick. That is the extent of the damage with curtain airbags, but the secondary damage is mechanical. So this is where the hit or miss is. It's an insurance car, so it could have been totaled off for a blown motor. It could have been totaled off with some just some bad suspension. Moment of truth, guys. We're about to bid in a few minutes here. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. Relax, guys, relax. It's, it's just the yellow Superman. Oh no, dude. <laughs> kind of slowed down. Oh, I think 25 was that guy's max or something, bro. But just keep going up to 30, dude. Mm, and someone from California is playing it too. Come on, please, God, stop, 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 stop. United, what? Mexico, what is all these people, bro, on this car, dude? Okay, bro, go go up to 32, bro. 32? Bro, who is this United oh, Kingdom, bro? I almost had it. I'm stressed, dude. Just keep going up to 32, bro. Let's see where it's at. Oh, bro, I'm, I'm sweating so hard, dude. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? Who is this person? Definitely someone with money. Oh, it's, it's pure sale now. Did you see it? Oh shit, it's pure cell. That's why, dude. All right, bro, go 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 34, dude. Bro, I'm I'm starting to shake too. Oh my god, dude. Is this even worth it at this point, dude? Like honestly. Just yeah, I guess keep going to 34, bro. That's uh bro, who is this guy? Does he really have to be out here right now? 34 500, bro. Another 100 bucks or two just go another two. Go to 35, bro. 35. Well, 30, 35, 500 max, but yeah, I, I think 35, 500 max is like absolute top dollar. Dude, who is this guy, bro? He just four, he just got an extra five G's out of me, bro. Congratulations, bro. Oh! I think somebody else bid it on it, bro. Yeah, I know. Is this bro. you at 35? 35, five. Is that you? 750, go 750. All right, bro, this is ridiculous. I don't I don't know if that's worth it. Yeah, bro, passing on that. Dang. Yo. Yo. We got it. Oh, that's us for 36? That was us for 36. I guess as soon as I pressed it, the other person pressed it and I landed on 36. Oh my God. <laughs> 
whatever, bro. We got it, right? Pure sale? Yeah, it's pure sale. We got it. All right, bro. Let me know how much the fees are on that. Dang. Holy shit. Bro, that was crazy. $36,000, dude. Bro, if it has a bad engine, bro, I'm going to cry. Guys, I told you guys I'm going to bid to win. Do I regret this? Maybe. I mean, with mechanical damage, if it has an engine failure, and it's going to be $40,000 uh, after fees, but I've been picking up the car yet. Um, this can get very expensive real quick. Anyways, we finally have a new build on the channel. You know, sometimes it's not about making profit. Sometimes it's about making good content. And for the B58 in the Supra, it just looks so good. One of my, like probably my only Toyota that I actually love. Like that car looks so good. Obviously it's just like pretty much Toyota um, emblems. The car itself is BMW guts, BMW technology, BMW everything. So I'm uh, super excited to pick up this car. That being said though, the fees came out to be $3,700. We won the auction for $36,300 and or 36 or something like that came out to be oh, like $4,000 in fees, which is unheard of. That being said, uh, we're gonna go ahead and call Copart and see if that's something they can actually work out because I don't know why this $4,000 in fees is kind of ridiculous because um, honestly, that, that is a, kind of a deal breaker. $4,000 is a lot of money on just fees to Copart. That's not even including taxes or anything like that. If that does include taxes on the vehicle, that is fine, but if that does not include taxes on the vehicle, $4,000. All right, guys, I'm just waiting on my broker to give me a call back. This could take forever. I don't know. I'm losing my mind right now. We just want a Toyota Supra in yellow. It looks so good, guys. And these two new current airbags, a door, a side skirt, the quarter panel will be pulled out, repainted. I mean, not too much in parts. It's just that mechanical thing is kind of it's kind of scaring me. I'm not gonna lie. All right, guys, my broker just got back to me. As long as we pay with the cashier's check, the fees drop from 3,700 basically down to 2,200, which is a huge difference. That's over a thousand. That's about 1,500 dollars in fees. That could be used to buy the door the side skirt and pull out that side damage right there um so yeah that's a lot of money in just fees so thankfully we got to recoup some of that so out the door thirty eight thousand two hundred dollars is that a lot for a total supra i guess we'll have to find out when we pick it up <laughs> so at this point guys let's head down to the bank get the cashier's check make sure that's good to go for tomorrow morning and possibly even get the trailer today just so we're ready so we can head out as early as possible tomorrow and then just get this car Guys, this is the first time I've ever seen my fuel gauge work. <laughs> God bless. And guys, we just got the check. Let's go ahead and head down to Copart and just pay for this. So tomorrow morning, it should be an easy pickup. Just made it to Copart, guys. This is the one in Sacramento. The car is in San Jose, but we're just gonna pay for it here. So tonight, we can schedule the pickup for tomorrow morning. That is the most important thing right now. the papers right here that officially say that we own the vehicle this is the most stressful purchase I've ever done mainly because it is such a large purchase this is all my money and uh, at the same time if it actually has a blown motor this will suck because it's about a 12,000 I'm not even I'm, I'm, I'm like undershooting it it's about a 14 or 15 thousand dollar engine um, so that would absolutely suck but at this point instead of stressing it's gonna be tomorrow morning I'll be heading out as early as I possibly could tomorrow morning we need to go get a trailer and uh, we need to go get some gas to get this thing ready so I think the first stop is probably gonna have to be Yes. Yeah. So, guys, I actually lied to y'all. I'm actually getting a U-Haul first, and then we're getting gas. I just figured U-Haul is closer on the way back to my house, and then we can stop by the gas whenever. I just don't like taking a U-Haul trailer to a gas station because I feel like I'm blocking most of the gas station. But I mean, it's convenient, you know. So I gotta do what I gotta do. We got the trailer. Now it's just time for gas, and we're honestly pretty much ready. I'm, I'm honestly excited for the super mainly because regardless of the price we got it for um worst comes to worst putting a new engine and new transmission inside of it fixing all the damages will be at a clean title price which would kind of suck because it is a salvage title we're not overpaying for the car itself it'll be the exact same car just with a different title worst comes to absolute worst best comes to best we did get at a salvage title price and very cheap under 45k all fixed in stone so i guess guys it is really one of those moments where it's fingers crossed the fact that there were so many people interested in that car like it was crazy many people were interested in that car i overbid i would say about three grand over a typical person would bid um just because i mean i do it for youtube as well like people only look at it in the profit sense for me as long as i get a good build for content i'm a happy man so anyways let's head down to costco and get ourselves a full tank because that would be nice plus it'll allow us to test out our fuel gauge to see if that actually goes all the way guys this guy is ready to get some gas he has the cap out and everything bro <laughs> what is going on? And we 
we are officially back home, guys. It is, uh, I don't have my watch on right now. It is 12.50 right now. Um, I'm leaving tomorrow morning at like 5 or 6 a.m., really early in the morning. I hit the gym, so I'm super proud of myself. We got this video recorded, and uh, we're just for now finishing editing it. I wanna get this thing out for you guys tomorrow. Get, we're on that 30-day upload streak. I wanna make sure I don't miss a single day, and uh, tomorrow is the day, guys. We're picking up the car, and we're gonna see what that mechanical damage is. It is a risk, but I believe it's a calculated risk. I ran the Carfax. Uh, the Carfax said that the car totaled out for collision damage. Um, usually they would also state other damages um, if, if, if it was something else. So the primary cause, which is what Copart listed it, was as collision damage. And it doesn't look too bad. So if that was a primary issue, I'm assuming that the mechanical, if it was any worse than that, which an engine, if it's like twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000, if that's worse, that would be primary. Um, again, me just having my fingers crossed and I'm hoping for the best right here. We did obviously pay a heavy penny, and we had so many other people interested in this vehicle, so I'm assuming some other person at least looked at it and also valued the car as much as I did. I just valued it a little more than he did. But yeah, guys, if you guys are excited to see me pick this thing up tomorrow, I mean, I don't even know if I can sleep right now. I'm just, this is insane. A Toyota Supra 2021 B58 BMW. It's gonna be a completely different experience. I'm so hyped for it. If you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash all the like, get this video to a thousand likes, and hopefully we get out this next video tomorrow, picking up the Supra, seeing the condition of it, and possibly even getting this thing to drive tomorrow. I mean, who knows? It looks like it's driving. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you on the next one. Peace out. Oh,